Howdy mates, how are we all doing? <clears throat> it is Wednesday, March 16th, 2022. Hard to believe that it is already in the middle of March. That's insane. Uh, on this rather gorgeous day, I'm out visiting the Ponce de Leon Park, which is also where the Peace River Wildlife Center is also located over in Punta Gorda. But as part of this video, I just wanted to take, you know, a little stroll in the water, or I should say in the harbor, because what's facing me here is the Charlotte Harbor. But the water today is actually rather clear, as a matter of fact. But uh, this park is, it actually has quite a historic significance. I mean, it's in the name. The park is literally named after Juan de Ponce de Leon. So he was a very famous uh, conquistador from Spain in which he invested part of his fortune towards exploring the new world. And with that being said, for the longest time, he was actually a well-known leader in Cuba, which was at the time a Spanish colony. But the thing is, he actually wanted to explore even more parts that were in the area. And as it turned out, it was here at the Charlotte Haba where he actually <clears throat> found a part of Florida. However, though, from how it is now to how it was back in the early 1500s, it's a way different story. I mean, like right now, you're seeing these boat markers and boats cruising out here. That wasn't really the case 500 years ago. Instead, think about going back in time and seeing all of the Calusa Indians here. Because at the time, the Calusa was the most prevalent tribe at the time who lived in this area. The Charlotte Haba marked the heart of their civilization at the time. So you figure, like, they knew this harbor in and out. They knew where to find some of the best food. They basically obtained all their tools from the harbor itself by using, you know, shells as a means of either weapons or useful tools for hunting. So just imagine like all this land that surrounds us, you know, a lot of these were inhabited by the Calusa. So that's the thing. Ponce de Leon sort of, in a sense, underestimated how much threat he would actually face because, you know, the Calusa at the time highly outnumbered the Spanish explorers. So, in Ponce de Leon's attempt to establish a settlement in this part of Florida, he was actually unsuccessful. Because as it turned out, I believe it was in 1521, in which he was in a battle conflict with the Calusa. And basically, he was banished from here because he, he lost. And the legend goes, he basically had an arrow shot at him and he died of his wounds. And he retreated back to Cuba. I believe it was Cuba. And that is where you will see his grave but just a lot has happened here and that's just one historical event 
Now, what's actually fascinating too, where I'm standing, the headland kind of juts out into the haba itself. And that was something that was noticed by the Spanish explorers. And they actually wanted to give the name of this area Punta Gorda. Now, rest assured, Punta is not the same thing as Puta. Puta is, you know, female dog, right? The B word. But when you say Punta, like instead it has the N in the middle, that means fat, basically, chubby. So, Gorda, on the other hand, also means, that means point. So you know how the Spanish language goes. Some of the nouns, verbs, and whatnot, they tend to have like a masculine and a feminine type of attachment. So in this case, with the name Punta Gorda, it has sort of like a female attachment. It doesn't, you know, it's not like El Gor, or it's not like El Gorde, something like that. Spanish language can be a little complicated sometimes, but the point is, since essentially where the town is based, it's on a land that is basically sticking out from the rest of the land around here into the harbor. However, though, much of today's town was built due to using fill-in. You know, especially with sediments. Because otherwise, this is how much of the land used to be. It was mostly mangroves and varying levels of water. So, filling had to be used so that the town could be somewhat elevated above the water. Kind of similar to what Boston does as well. The city of Boston. So... All right, you guys, thanks for watching. And if you haven't visited this spot, it's actually quite a neat one too, if you haven't, so. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks, see ya.